obviously we do have high expectations, especially for one of our leading returners. You know, we have one, one of the best quarterbacks in the state back, Jared Keller, and, and obviously that's where the offense is going to start. And uh, we have some key linemen back, and you know, including senior leader Austin Benson, who uh, he's going to lead a group that we think has a chance to be very good. So just being good at quarterback and good at the offensive line, we think offensively will be okay. And, uh, you know, we're young, but uh, our young kids are very skilled, so we have a lot of confidence in them that they'll be able to fill in those skill positions that we lost. And, uh, and also, you know, we feel like our linebackers and secondary to go along with that defensive line are going to give us a chance to be pretty good defensively. So uh, we have a lot of experience, but we like the skill that we have at those spots. I think um, we have to, you know, sort of – find our identity as a team this year and you know, we lost a couple of uh, key guys like you like Seibel and uh, Odell but I think um, we need to and if we want to expand our, our success we need to um, you know play more fundamentally sound you know, football we were fundamentally sound last year more so than usual but I think the next step needs to be you know fewer missed tackles and you know fewer mistakes and all that kind of stuff and I think we we are very, we're talented enough to make a run at it. I like a couple of new guys that didn't play last year that came out this year, like um, Andrew Lopez is going to come out and kind of be of our, a dynamic you know, part of our offense. He'd be playing slot receiver. We'd be playing different spots of the field, trying to get him the ball a number of ways. Um, I like you know, just the experience we got from last year. You know, My brother's coming back. He saw a lot of varsity reps last year. We got guys like Kyle Owens. He saw a lot of varsity reps too. And um, those guys are going to kind of come in and be our, we'll be lean heavily on them. You know, it kind of helps having guys like uh, the seniors last year that were so um, talented and experienced to kind of help them move along with it. Everything's going well. We had a good off season uh, program in June. And uh, so far, they've, they're picking up things really well. And uh, team chemistry seems to be really good right now. Our seniors, they're a small group, but uh, they're doing a good job leading us right now. So, you know, uh, and the, the, work ef the work ethic that we've shown so far is a, is a good sign. You know, we feel like uh, if we can outwork people, then uh, it'll pay off in the fall. We, we brought in a lot of new guys to come in and a lot of returners as well. We had three new, I mean, two new guys coming in and three returning linemen, uh, A.K. Snyder and Jacob Barr, you know, and myself big leaders helping these new kids coming up and okay. just working you know, every day going out there just doing my zone steps you know lifting every day helping the young guys being a leader you know, you know just helping my team get better myself get better you know just coming together as a team and a family you know just getting better everything we do we try to get better doing every day you know and that's going to help us improve going into week one okay. Okay. any major changes you see from last year to this year things you need to do differently things you might mix up to try to accomplish more this year uh, a couple things we need to do I think on offense will be more more balanced. We lost our leading rusher and our leading receiver and leaned on those two heavily last year. So uh, it's going to give Jared a chance to distribute the ball more. And uh, and we, we look for a little more balance maybe offensively than we had last year. Uh, defensively, we changed scheme basically to fit personnel. We feel like our, our back seven are really where our, our skill is. So we're going to try to do what we can to get them involved. Week 10, we want to be 9-0 uh, and 0 by week 10. <laughs> Uh, no, but we, we want to be, I, I just want to see a group of guys that have really come together and have really, you know, formed a brotherhood and, you know, I mean, it was great to be, you know, undefeated or have one or two losses by then, but, you know, by the same token, you have to be realistic and, you know, set goals for yourself. You know, I think we can be a seven or eight win team, but I think we have the potential to go, you know, 10 and 0 by that time. So, you know, you never know really what to expect, but... You know, ideally, yeah, we wouldn't be sitting pretty, you know, maybe at a decent shot at the playoffs.